Hello and welcome to Tax TV. We've got some familiar faces on. I've got Charlie and Caelan. So, Penny, it's great to fit uh, you on. So, Caelan, I'll come to you first, mate. Um, I saw you, your picture on social media. You were at Port Vale. So, what were it like at Port Vale, mate? Well, we played well. The atmosphere we got behind them. Um, first goal straight away. What else could we improve on that game? I couldn't see all. <laughs> just to, you couldn't see out apart from a win. I'll take that all day long, mate. Uh, this going to you, Charlie. I mean, 26, 25 seconds for a goal. And then even when they equalised, I thought we're still there. I thought, you know, I thought we'd fully deserve three points, if I'm being uh, honest, Charlie. Yeah, I've got to agree. Um, it was scrappy at times, but mm. I think, you know, you get that early goal. Which it will mega early. Let, let's say that <laughs> we, we get that early goal, and I think it were only going one way after that. They put a bit of pressure on for ten minutes, got got another goal back, which fair play to them. But then after that, I think again it, it, it's learning how to see games out and go on and and get three points from from a difficult situation, which we did, mm -hmm. and we made it look comfortable in second half as well. So yeah. A very good three points, I think. Very good three points. I mean, <clears throat> Caelan, coming back to you, mate. I mean, pitch. It looked. It looked a shocking pitch. I mean, <laughs> what it as bad as what it did. What actually looked when you were there, mate. Mm, we played well on it. I know that. <laughs> um, we play every well wherever we go now. Hopefully. I mean, Charlie. I mean, looking at pitch. I mean. It looked like we had to go a bit more direct with some of those balls going through midfield. I know Luke Connell and Herbie Kane did well, uh, and that was probably one of the reasons why Russell uh, came off at half time and brought Phillips on to give us a bit back more directiveness up front because it did look terrible. You know, in, in patches it looked poor, didn't it? In some in some places. Yeah, I think pitch, pitch played a massive part of that game on Tuesday. Um, I mean, it's. It is, it is a terrible pitch and it, it, it was showing as well. We were more direct. There mm. weren't as much float at football as what there used to be or as what there is in most games. Um, yeah, I think it's bringing Russell off, obviously, it goes to prove, one at best, again, another good substitution. Mm. Um, and I think it's stuff like that, that that just goes to show how good Michael Duff is. And it's good that, obviously, from what he said, Russell, he kind of understood why he got brought off as well. Half time, he were jeering lads on, which, yeah, it's pitchers poor. And for me, I don't think no pitch in League One should be as bad as that. I understand mm. not all football clubs have got the financial stability to to have big things, but a pitcher's standard. But you look at it in another context, that's that might be their style of football. They might have got used to playing on a pitch like that. So it, it works both ways. Yeah, good, yeah, good point about that, mate. We've probably adapted to that, that pitch and, you know, upset a few people when we come down there. Caelan, mm -hmm. going back to you, mate, I mean, you know, it's your birthday on Saturday. You're going away at Cheltenham on Saturday. Uh, what's your take on Cheltenham? Are we going to be coming back with three points here, mate? Is there going to be any, is there going to be any changes? Would you see any changes for that game? Well, Max Waters, I've seen not loads of him, but Looking at what he's been doing, he's been a good player, but I wouldn't put him in starting for Norwood because Norwood and call up from they put it in, they put the work in. Made. So you, you keep the striking partner as it is then? Yeah. Okay. I'll keep Kane in, Herbie Kane. He's been doing well lately. <laughs> Taking some good runs. Mm, mid. Getting a bit strong. Still can work on it. But really, I won't make any changes. Wrong team. Keep, keep his it is then. I think he's probably a good shot. I mean, I think Waters is out. What it's straight red, so I think he's got another two game ban. Uh, but I get away coming from we we Norwood and call up front. Uh, Terich and Shaw came on, didn't be in second half and mixed it up a bit like. So options there. I mean, Charlie, coming back to you, mate. Uh, would have been many changes. You're probably looking at Russell again in that area, but uh, pleased to see as well that injury front that Luke Thomas is all being well going to be involved somewhere or another, whether it be a distant squad or on bench. I mean, 
start to come back and we keep on about it, don't we? Competition in places. Yeah, sorry about that, but Mrs. was shouting me as, uh, you know, as, as, as they do when it comes <laughs> to this. But yeah, um, I won't making too many changes. I reckon he probably will drop Russell and put um, and put Phillips in there. Um, it's nice to see Luke Thomas coming back. I think mm. that is going to be one of our biggest, biggest... Be like a new signing, um, that, won't it? Yeah, it, it will. It'll be one of our biggest attributes, him coming back. I mm. won't be dropping him into the team straight away. I, mm. Again, he's fresh from injury. He's not going to be fully fit. I'd be leaving him. Might bring him on for the last 15, 20 minutes. Give him a bit of a run out. Which, again, he can still make an impact within that 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. But I won't be, I won't be, uh, I won't be making too many changes. Yeah. I mean, looking at team off start against Port Vale and, you know, carrying on front weekend <laughs> as well, going into Port Vale game, you, you like look at it and you think, the substitutions have been made at right time. Obviously, at weekend, you know, at home, they've got made at right time. Uh, again, at, in Port Vale game, he kind of saw it and he adapted to it and he saw it straight away. And what's pleasing for me to see as well is that the players aren't getting monk on. They're not like for any strop. Yeah, they're, they're going to be able to set to come off as a sub. But again, at end of game, the VR technology and fans are all in it as a... I think it's a more... Happier United Barnsley that I've seen for a bit, especially from last season. Yeah, I uh, I think I think players understand more why they might be brought off, and they understand that it's not it's not that they you know they're not good enough. It's just that a certain game, a, uh, you know, what one player might make more of an impact than what they do. Yeah. And it's I not think a personal thing, that, is it? Like, yeah, no, no, and that that's what's good. None of players are taking it personal. They all mm. know. There's a reason to it, and I think at minute a lot of players are, are in that mindset where if I play 45 minutes, but he can do a better job because of this, obviously because of where the game's going, mm. I'm happy as long as we get three points. That's all that matters because it does seem like we've got a strong unity and a strong bond, and every player is understanding their role a bit more, but understanding what. You know that there might be a couple of changes at half time. There might be a change half an hour in. Mm. And as a footballer, you've got to get used to it. It's what happens. It's it's all about getting three points at the end of the day. Yeah, and not an individual. Obviously, individual players will make their own contributions, but uh, you know it's a team effort all together. And uh, at the end of the day, Duff's here to do a job, and he's just going to be on block if you don't get it right. And rightly mm. so, players are acknowledging that, and it's it's plain to see. Chat, uh, Caleb, going back to you then, mate. I mean, what score are you going for? What score prediction? And who do you think is going to be influential player for you on day at Cheltenham? Who do you think is going to be a standout player for Barnsley? Well, I think the score will be 2 1 Barnsley. But we've been playing, he's been playing strong. I mentioned him earlier. Probably Herb again. He's been making some good runs. Mm. Nobody can, nobody can outrun him really. I think putting some good challenges in, back and forth. What else can he do? You are going for a big game. I mean, it's fair. It's a fair point, back Caelan, To be fair, because I mean, I know Luke O'Connell gets all plaudits and that, and Herbie Kane does a lot of running off at ball and probably don't don't get mentioned as much as I suppose. Uh, I don't know about you, Charlie, but I think, you know, we, we seem to like sometimes have a look here became for, you know, it's a miss and like what's it, what, you know, it's been very, very bats. But again, it's a good comp- compliment between them both and understanding what we've got at the minute. Yeah, I think, I think they both complement each other really well. I think mm. Connell compliments Kane and vice versa. He, he does get overlooked sometimes, Herbie Kane, and it, it's because he's not scoring goals left, right, and centre. Mm. But, Sometimes he does the simple stuff and the basic stuff right. He does it easy enough. He'll get it, he'll play it, he'll create a chance, he'll win it back. And don't get me wrong, some games he can be quiet, some games he might have a you know a better game. Well, recently he's been having a couple of really, really good, strong performances. Yeah. Um and I think if he could add a couple of goals to to his locker, I think fans would probably stop overlooking him a bit more. And mm. they look at him as kind of, you know, he's a key asset. He's still young. 
He's mm-hmm. still, you know, he, he's still got age on his side. He's got the potential to grow, especially under Duff, and become a better player. Um, so yeah, the the do. I agree with with Kale and when he's saying that Kane could be an influence. Um, mine's a bit different, to be fair, with my player. I think if he starts, it's going to be Norwood. I All think right, he's yeah. another one that might that's getting a bit overlooked at minute. Mm-hmm. Is it's the work rate that he puts in and the effort. The it is there. It is a nightmare for defenders. Mm-hmm. Is you know it, it, yeah. Don't get me wrong. He's a bit off headed, but. If he goes in and lets them defenders know that he's there straight away, so be it. It's what you've got to do as a striker. You can't... You can't. You were at weekend, he came on a second day and he got booked right Well, away, to be he? fair, I, I missed that. I was downstairs <laughs> getting a drink and I missed that. And I saw it come up on my phone saying, no, would yellow card. I thought, <laughs> what? We're like 40 seconds into the second day. How has he been booked? But it goes to show. He goes in, he leaves his mark early and he has an impact on every game. He's not a 90-minute man. But mm. for the 60, 70 minutes he's on pitch, he does a job and he does it well. Mm. So I think he's going to be our, our main our main force on Saturday against Cheltenham. All right. Square? What, what score are you going for? Well, I don't want to be negative. I don't yeah. want to be too overconfident and too... I'm either going to go one apiece or one. I think we might just nick it at the end. It's not that we're playing bad, it's just that they're going to make it a very, very hard game. I know yeah. I said it about um, last game that we played about Port Vale, but I think Cheltenham's got a bit more to offer and I think they are going to want to come. It's an home game for Duff as such and I think they're going to they're going to want to prove a point to him. Yeah, a good, good point on that. And, but apparently, uh, good valid reasons about who's going to be influenced. Uh, I get that where you're coming from and all. It's going to be an hard one to call because... I know when Cheltenham came to work, well, I mean, way back in August like now, but back in August when it was sunnier, sunnier warmer times, uh, for me, it was frustrating because we knew goal was going to come, but it was a matter of when, not if. Uh, yeah. And they, they, they knew what we were doing. They, they played their own game style and frustrated as a lot of part of the game. Uh, Luke Thomas, ironic, you know, with goal there, and it might be a bit of an homecoming if he comes on and off at bench and gets the winner for us. But uh, for me... I'm going completely different area altogether. Uh, and I get good points, by the way, about Kane and Norwood. I think I know where you're going for here. Go on, Ben. I think you're going to go with Bobby Thomas or Anderson. I am, I am yeah. uh, Bobby Thomas, yeah. And it's just basically because you've, you've got someone like an Alpha Major just to pop up from nowhere and just create something. And I think uh, Bobby Thomas has been playing. He's been, it looks like he's been playing this for donkey's years. And I'm thinking, yeah. I wish you were our player. For, it for reminds good. me. It reminds me of John Stones. Is yeah. not just the type of player that gets ball, comes out and plays it. He's not scared of coming out of that back line no. with ball and looking for a pass. And I think he, he's the type of player that we need. We we need him. You know what I mean? We need to we need to make him kick on further. Yeah, I think he slotted in brilliant. I think he's got that understanding right at bat way. Mads and Kitchen, I think uh, Williams kind of understands his role with him playing at right side to centre defence. Bobby Thomas, I think that link up play has allowed Tom, uh, Willi- Williams to get forward more, knowing that Thomas is going to drop into that. Um, so for me, I'm going for Bobby Thomas. Again, he, he could go for like Luke Connell, you know, Norwood. Mm. You, you're going for normal, you know, some really good shouts. And for, pleasing for me to say is that. It's a nice option to have that amount of players. What we're having this debate now that we've all got a different player saying it's not going to be the same player week in week out. It's going to be someone different, and I think that's credit to Duff where he's improved in players. Is saying, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, I'm going to one. I, I just think that it's going to be a tricky game. This, I think, like what you said there, Charlie. I think it's going to be trickier than it is against. <laughs> I think. Cheltenham are gonna we're gonna make it awkward at home. Like you said, we're gonna prove a point to Duff. Um and I think if we start off like we do against Port Vale, I think then fine. But if we don't get a goal in the first 20 minutes, I just can see it being a bit of a so Cheltenham be more happy with a point, I think, than we would, even though Cheltenham are at home against us. Do you do you think I agree with you? I think and I, I don't know why, I've just got a bit of a feeling 
that I think Tedic might come on and get winner for us on Saturday. I, I think if he's on bench, mm-hmm. he's, we, especially with what Duff's saying as well, you know, he looks like a different player since he's yeah. come back, yeah. which, you know, he has done. It's, I think it's good that he's coming back and he's coming back with a bit of fitness. He knows what he's got to do now. He knows the point he's got to prove. And it's another option. I mean, mm. Ollie Shaw, we need to see him a bit more because at minute he's not getting enough game time. Mm. But that's because Cole and Norwood are doing the right things. So doing what we're doing, yeah. The, the, it's, gonna, it's hard to push, especially a striker, out at team when they're both doing the right things. But, like we've said, Norwood is not a 90-minute man. Hmm. So, for me, that should give Shaw some motivation to push and think, you know what, I want to have a go up there with him. Yeah. I think Norwood and Shaw, you call a bit of a rest, I think Norwood and Shaw would be a really, really good partnership, me. I really do. Good shout. What about this one for you? I'll chuck this one back at both you and uh, Caleb here. What about Luke Thomas and Teddy coming off at bench? Luke Thomas setting up Teddy for Eddie. About that one, that'd be a dream. That more a massive stroke. That'd be by Duff, and I won't, I won't be surprised at all. I won't be surprised how things are going under Duff. You know what I mean? He's coming off some good shots. Uh, but yeah, Caleb, safe journey, mate. Uh, happy birthday as well for when you get down here. Just make sure you come back with win for us. Uh, <laughs> and no pressure for Caleb, mate. You know what I mean? No pressure, mate. Uh, so yeah, Caleb and Charlie, appreciate you both joining. Uh, good debate, some no good problem. points raising, all mate. Uh, so yeah people what's watching leave your comments in uh, below let us know your score prediction your most influential player and do you agree with me Charlie and uh, more importantly birthday boy Caelan that we're going to be coming away with three points uh, but let us know your thoughts if you're going down safe journey uh, come back to Yorkshire with a win one thing left to say you Reds <laughs>